This is a bespoke mum-friendly retreat that will see oh god that will see you rebirthed into your best new self. <laughs> your chakra will be cleansed. You'll be one with nature and be forced into uncomfortable encounters like Yaya having to talk to people she doesn't know at a hostel. And I remember them coming to me saying, you can leave tomorrow if you like. I was like, hell no, how many more days have I got? She's like, two more days. I'm like, no, I'm staying. Instead of singing Christmas carols, Christmas carols this year, if we could sing happy birthday to Jesus. Oh, I bless know. her. Bless her, she's really into it. I mean, you should. That's the reason why Christmas I know, is. I know, But uh, literally bless her. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sick of kids coming to my house and they're in plain clothes and like trick or treat. Like, oh. no, buddy, I once kicked someone out and I was like, no, mate, you're going to have to dress up for this one. Hello and welcome to Mum Club. We are not your regular mother's group. I'm Em Blatchford and I'm joined here today with Yaya, otherwise known as Leah Goulis. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> I am really happy today. I know. You've got a weird look on your face. Yes. What's, I'm nervous. Uh, it's not an intervention, but it's a surprise. I, I knew you had that cheeky face on. I knew something was going down. All right, hit me with it. I've got a surprise for you. Okay, go on. I, do I need to brace myself? <laughs> well, I, I told you to, to keep a weekend free, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Okay. So... Again, poor Lucas. I'm like, <laughs> poor Lucas. Been absent this year. I've been... <laughs> Got to go. It's for work. Divorce is imminent. <laughs> I know it's looming, so it's um, going to be good. Well, well, you might you might find out if divorce is in your future <laughs> oh, no. on this weekend. So I have organised a retreat for us two to go on. Yeah, remember a few episodes ago, like rewind. Yeah, we're getting our chakras aligned oh, no. together oh, no. on a woo woo weekend. You and me. <laughs> oh, um, no. I've given you a piece of paper. I've given you a piece of paper. Oh no! And it's what I uh, I would call an itinerary. Oh god! For this weekend, it's called the Yaya's Povo Mum Health Retreat. Could be an. <laughs> She's done a bit moji. <laughs> done a bit moji of bit myself moji. in Zen like <laughs> yoga stance. <laughs> Um, we can share a picture of this if okay. for those who want a visual um, visual reference. I can't imagine that anyone would want to, but sure. Um, do you want to read what the what the thing says? It says you're invited to join TikTok famous Yaya, aka Leah. <laughs> How many followers have you got? Uh, Hundred eighteen. <laughs> That's at Yas Yaya um, on a health retreat that you won't need a second mortgage. Okay. Think nine perfect strangers without the mysterious deaths. Shant Ram without the million boring pages to read through. Eat, pray, love without the sex. And Elle's silent meditation retreat without the six hours of chanting in Thai. So just for the reference there, Elle, um, who has been on this podcast a few times, she's our lifestyle writer. She went on a silent. She, she went on a silent retreat. Optional. She, like, she purchased a ticket to go there and it required six hours of chanting in Thai. She said it was a horrible time. So this is not, this is not it. Okay, great. Yep. Um, this is a bespoke mum friendly retreat that will see, oh God, that will see you rebirthed into your best new self. <laughs> your chakra will be cleansed. You'll be one with nature and be forced into uncomfortable encounters like Yaya having to talk to people she doesn't know at a hostel. Woohoo! Buckle up, buttercup. You're about to be whisked away with me. Um, so what we, what I, um, I am not really comfortable with is the fact that we're staying in a hostel. Okay. But, okay. But yeah. it, it's a budget, right? I had to stick everyone to the budget. Must, everyone must stay um, in a hostel. You never have. So I'm not going to read through the whole itinerary, but we will be going to, we're going to the Blue Mountains, Tootie. Okay. Amazing. Um, we're going to the Blue Mountains sauna, which I'm is a immediately started sauna. drinking again. <laughs> yeah. You'll be drinking for sure. Um, I'd just like to highlight there on seven o'clock, at seven o'clock on day one, um, we're having dinner, but then it says followed by Yaya's birthday surprise. Do I have to organise Yeah, that? you have to organise that because my birthday's the Monday and I'd like something for myself. So if you can just sort that out, that'd be great. Okay. Um, but we're also going, we're going on that, that Katoomba to Lura hike. That we're watching the sunrise. Yeah, we're Jesus waking up Christ. at 5am watching the sunrise. Then we're going to have a, sw a swim in one of the um, waterfall pools there. We're going to do a forest bathing session where we will journal and reflection we're going to be journaling and reflecting 
And then on one of the days, we're also doing some Reiki. Um, and um, and then we're going to visit a, a, a healthy grocer in Wentworth Falls. So the idea behind this, when we originally started talking about this, is that all mums need to get away, but wellness retreats are expensive. Yes. So we're doing this on the cheap. This is hence the hostel and everything. Yeah. Don't you love it? I, I do actually love it. I'm a bit nervous about my chakra cleansing. I'm nervous about sharing communal spaces with people. I'm nervous about us being in a bunk. <laughs> yeah, so um, Em's, Em's going to take the top bunk. Are you taking the top bunk? That's fine. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd prefer it, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Amazing. Well, we're obviously going to chuck it all on our socials. 100%. I'm going to do a little video so everyone can come along with us. And you never know, if this is great, maybe we can do it every year. Fantastic. Bring some listeners I with us. I can't wait to say Who it. wants to come? Luke. Lena? <laughs> Tabby? Tabby wants to come. Tabby, yes! Tabby just said from the sound recording booth that she wants to come. <laughs> I can't wait to say to Lucas, you know that weekend that I've chalked up? <laughs> this is what we're doing. I'm getting my chakras cleansed. <laughs> I'll come back a new woman. You might come back. You know, you're going to get rid of all the blocks. Well, you did say I'd be rebirthed. Blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Come back with my journal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on with this episode. I want to talk a little bit about Halloween. Okay. Halloween's coming up. It is. It's everywhere. Do you do Halloween? Oh, yeah. Alice, it's like her favourite. I, I don't quite understand where along the way Halloween eclipsed like Christmas, but mm. it is Alice's favourite time of the year, Halloween. Yeah. She's sick for it. Yeah. Loves it. And has she always been that way? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, our street goes nuts during yeah. Halloween. Halloween and Christmas, they're too big. I mean, they're the main holidays, right? So, well, no, then I would argue Halloween isn't. It's not, it never used to be up on Christmas well, for, level. No, yeah, I know. Not Maybe not holiday, but for like decorating your house. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because you don't really decorate your house at Easter time. No. What are you going to do? Put a giant crucifix in the front of your <laughs> garden? Alice, Alice is sick for Jesus. She'd probably love that. <laughs> oh, shame. She um, asked if, <laughs> oh, no. Instead of singing Christmas, car- Christmas carols this year, if we could sing happy birthday to Jesus. Oh, I bless know. her. Bless her. She's really into it. I religion. mean, you should. That's the reason why Christmas I is. Know, I know. But uh, literally, bless her. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's nothing to do with Jesus for Halloween. So, um, yeah. 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 Cool. But can I just say, I went to Kmart the other day to mm. get some stuff. Mm. And, like, it was so weird to see Halloween right next to. Christmas. Mm. Like when, I don't think that we've always, I mean, Christmas coming out early is has always been a thing mm. recently. And you can get advent calendars at Big W. Yes, I mm-hmm. saw. Mm-hmm. Um, but like right next to each other, like usually we wait until Halloween is done and then the Christmas stuff comes yeah. out. But this year it's like bang, bang, like Aggressive. two shelves right next to each other. Yeah. It's too much. It's too much. Like I know that people do complain about us being too American with Halloween. I do love it. I Purely for the fact that the kids have fun. It's the only time on a weekday they get to binge on lollies and feel sick and then go to school the next day. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like it's community. Mm. I, and I think everyone just takes it too literally. Everyone's like, oh, it's meant, it's based on a pagan ritual. Back. I'm like, okay, whatever. Or you get to know people in your street. Yeah. Like, fun. Yeah. My kids don't know that what the real meaning of Halloween is, and I, I don't plan on telling them. No, I, just, just get just spooky. Like, this is the day that we dress up and we have fun, some fun. Go around. Yeah. Ask for lollies. Um, but also, dress up. I'm sick of kids coming to my house and they're in plain clothes and, like, trick or treat. Like, oh. no, buddy, I once kicked someone out and I was like, no, mate, you're going to have to dress up for this one. Oh, um, I wrote a piece last year and it got me into all sorts of trouble. Really? I why teenage shamed. Teenagers, they bring pillow like pillowcases. Yeah, that's greedy. And like, and anyway, but then this other girl on our team has a teenager and she's like, oh, it's what they all do and it's, you know, for ease and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, they're being greedy. No, a bucket is easy. A bucket in the shape of a pumpkin is easy. <laughs> a little bag and like a plastic bag. Why do you need to take a huge thing? Put anyway, a sign this, up. this one kid. I'm only giving lollies to buckets with pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> bucket pumpkins um but also like teens like should they still be trick-or-treating there was lots of discussion on this in my group mm. like my group facebook page people are like they deserve to have fun too like they're still kids at heart like la 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 mm. which is true but like respectfully i want to i want to read out a meme because i i was dead against teens like there's there's an age where you're like 
you're done with the Halloween. Now it's just about parties. Right? Yeah. Like just just enjoy the holiday. Oh my god, just a quick side note. I was in the supermarket the other day and I saw these teenage boys. Mm. Um, bless them, like legit having a stress about whether or not they could buy liqueur chocolates. Like there was a big thing oh, of liqueur chocolates. Yeah, and I they were like, liqueur. oh, like, do you recommend an ID? Like, oh, no, like, how many do you reckon you need to eat before you get? And I was just like, oh, my God. Is that that they wanted to get drunk on just liqueur chocolates? I know. I was like, I wanted to be like, loophole. hey, it's not going to happen. You need so much more. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to come <laughs> to BWS? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never. <laughs> come with me. Come with me. I'll give you some real stuff. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I was dead against the teens, but then I found this thing and it, it like, I think it just may basically changed my mind. It says the teen who comes to your door to trick or treat is choosing to be a kid over doing other things. Give them the candy and smile. Life only gets harder. Let them enjoy it. You are only young ones. And that's so true. Yeah. So true. Like teens are still little. They're yeah. still kids. Yeah. So good on them for choosing to go out and walk around the neighborhood Instead of sitting there playing Fortnite for hours. Yeah, but I yelled at one last year. Why? Because of the pillowcase? <laughs> no, because he took all of the he like well, like scoop was scooping like a match. Sorry, I'm I'm just imagine a table when there are lollies there, and he got his arms like flat against a thing <gasps> and scooped yeah, it so into his thing. Res- yeah, I would have I would have cracked it too, but yeah. like respectful teenagers. Yeah. Um, I remember when my kids were really little, Christopher was really little, too little to do Halloween, but mm. I was like, people are going to come to our house and they're going to ask for lollies. So what we're going to do is going to stand outside and ask and, and give them the lollies. And so he, out there, he was out there with his little nappy on, nothing else on. And I've got a photo of him with just chocolate all over his face because he was having such a good time <laughs> giving the lollies to kids, but then also eating them. They're good memories. Call cool Mems. Yeah, call cool Mems. Get, get amongst it. Get amongst it. Yeah. So my cousin uh, recently had a little baby. Cute. Um, uh, it's been a while since we've had a baby in the family. It's so wild. People still having babies, isn't it? Because yeah. you do get out of that. Yeah. That you when... forget what it's like. Oh yeah. And one thing that I particularly forget what it was like was the hospital visits. So yeah. since COVID, yeah, they've kind of changed the rules a little bit. I mean, you would know you've had a baby since COVID. Yeah. You're not allowed that many visitors at the hospital anymore. Mm. Do they do that? Yeah, I don't got Oh gosh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. So my cousin and his wife decided that they would have like immediate family at their hos- at the hospital. Yep. Um, and then after that, they were like, "Yeah, no, where we just want to settle in," and that I think is a little bit. I, I can see why people do that, but also, you're you're setting yourself up for then people hounding you to come and visit you at home which means more work for you, disrupting the baby's routine, having to make them tea or coffee or give them a drink. At the hospital, it's so much easier because they're like in and out. Yeah. Well, hang on. I'm confused. So they don't want people to come over to their house? No. So they are protecting their bubble. When they're ready. When they're ready. But when you're at home, you're deep in that routine that you're never, ever really going to be ready to say, all right, everybody come over now. So what I'm saying is you're better off having them at the hospital. Oh, yeah, because then you Cause get the, the nurses, midwives yes. to kick them out for the you. Nurse, yes. So when Jerry and I had um, Christopher, uh, I remember getting a warning from my sister-in-law and she said, look, just letting you know, Greek background, right? So everyone comes to the hospital with a gift and wants to stay because they think they're the most important relative. Yeah. And um, and so the room fills up very, very quickly. My, Sounds claustrophobic. My gyno, well, my obstetrician, sorry, told me don't go for the family room for that exact reason because oh. the more room in the room the more people, the more people will actually stay what will, will stay there yeah so the smaller the room the more people go oh okay it's an in and out situation yeah I'm gonna, one in okay well someone news come now we'll leave yeah but greeks don't do that and the Euro- europeans in general don't do that so they just stay yeah. and so my sister-in-law said make sure you have a little code word with jerry that will tell you tell him that you're not okay yeah and that you need the room to be exited. Yeah. So I had this little code where I it? said to him, um, can you get me some ice? Oh. And I would give him my glass. And that was code for go out, get ice, but also come back and say, hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but the midwives have said it's there's too many people in the room, so we're going to have to evacuate a little bit. And that's when all the relatives were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go. We've been here a while. Been here four hours. We'll go. We'll go now. And that was our little code word. 
That's I, genius. I, I recommend that to everybody. But also some people, will, mm, I know, it, but like don't some people want visitors when they're at home for loneliness reasons? Yeah, probably, but not in those first couple of weeks, I yeah. would dare say, because you're still trying to get your head around it. I I would say have them at the hospital. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Hospitals are, oh, my God, having your second kid, it's just like a holiday. Yeah. I was just oh, like. Yeah, same. Oh. I had a cesarean for both and I remember them, like I was pretty up and about very early with, with Maddie and I remember them coming to me saying, you can leave tomorrow if you like. And I was like, hell no, how many more days have I got? She's like, two more days. I'm like, no, I'm staying for the whole duration of my stay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you just lap it up. And, you know, if you accept visitors at the hospital, they'll make their own tea because they'll go to the, the family mm. communal room yeah. and make their own tea and, and Bring coffee. you back a biggie. Bring you back stuff. Maybe even make you a cup of tea. Mm. Win-win. Get them at home and then you have to do it for them. Nah, f*** that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's really exciting time, but gosh, yeah, it's, it's an adjustment, isn't it? Oh. Newborn. Yeah, I remember holding my friend's newborn recently and I was like, he is a loaf of bread. How is he so tiny? I don't understand. Yeah. We did fails last week. Should we do wins this week? Should we end on a positive note? Yeah, sure. My win, okay, it's a bit old. It is kind of from last week. I said that we had a big family reunion. And by family reunion, I mean no one was actually related to each other. My sister doesn't have kids. My brother-in-law doesn't have kids. So we don't have any, my kids don't have any cousins. Mm -hmm. But we do have some really close family friends that we've always just, like, I call them Uncle Tony, Auntie Annie, even though we're not, you know. So we all got together and seeing the kids play and be with each other and hang out, like, was such, I mean, you don't, you take this for granted properly because you've got, the big Greek family, it was like seeing my kids with cousins Aww. and it was just so nice and I was so proud of them for, like, they were just so keen to get to know them. They were just so, like, they were just great. They were really great and I was really, they were well behaved, they were sociable, they were, yeah. and I was like, oh, man, like, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to have some some cousins running around. Well, that's when you have your close friends. Like close friends can be cousins. Oh, we like we've always said that we've built our own it, yeah. like family around yeah. that. But um, it was just yeah, it was nice. That's all. Yeah, that's nice. So I call that a little not nothing to do with my parenting. Just a little win of a just a nice nice feeling I had. Yeah. Can I tell you something? It's probably got nothing to do with my parenting either. Um, but I have been uh, putting myself first mm. at the end of the day, mm. <laughs> around dinner time. <laughs> so the, maybe it seems very conveniently timed. <laughs> the two <laughs> two days now this week, I have skipped off during dinner to go to Kmart with my friend. <laughs> Really he, well, he has no choice. They're his kids too. <laughs> he, he also has to eat dinner. So I'm like, so like last night, we, we need to go to Kmart and diff different places because we're going camping soon. Mm. And so there's always these That's last when you bought things. your $29 boat. That's when I bought my boat. But then this is this, like two days later, we decided we needed to go back to Decathlon to get some thermals because it's going to be cold okay. so anyway but what we've been doing is we've been going out right on dinner time most inconvenient times so then we're like bombarded with phone calls from our husbands while we're shopping we couldn't give i couldn't a toss. hear it yeah couldn't give a toss but then what we do afterwards is we've got a tradition we go to mcdonald's afterwards and we get ourselves a sneaky soft serve so every time we get home they're all asleep and no one knows that this little treaty that we've given ourselves <laughs> well they do now unapologetic I am but then last night they were still awake and so they saw that I came home with a Sunday tub mm -mm. I was in trouble yep your cover's blown my friend are you but I don't care no regrets this is what happens when you're a parent sometimes you got to put yourself first mm -hmm. so you can do something that you want to do yourself mm -hmm. with no children with no husband mm -hmm. just with the mate we did make a joke that we we're in the car park of Macca's and I was like, we both were scraping our Sundays and we we're like, we're at the end. And then I just stopped and I went, you want to make out? <laughs> She's like, it's like we're parking. And I was like, yeah. I felt 16 again. <laughs> oh, lol. Lol. Um, That's my win. Oh, okay. Well, we will, next time we speak to you, we will have been on our 
oh no, we won't have. We'll have our advice needed on Friday. But the next time we do this episode, we would have been on our woo-woo wellness weekend. And I can't wait to update you all on how that went. <laughs> we might sound satanic. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you followed Mum Club in whichever podcast app you're listening on so you don't miss our special advice needed episodes on Friday. Um, if you've got any questions you want us to tackle, please send them through to mumclub at news.com.au or you can get us on our socials, Instagram or TikTok. Um, are the best ones at Mum Club Podcast. Until then, happy Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Bye.